Welcome ladies and so do you gentlemen to the Vas Christians channel. Let's see what we got here. It says write a program which will send two values, integer power and jar operation to the constructor. Power must be greater than 1 and less than 11. And operation must be minus or plus. Then check the sent values and if there is something wrong, just print message no correct values. But if everything is ok, print binomial expansion. Notice use Pascal's triangle to solve the problem. What problem? No problem at all. Ok, we've got Pascal triangle class. Here we've got three attributes, integer power, operation char and we've got also an array. This is our main method, instance of our class and in this moment we are calling parameter constructor sending for and plus. But if we send something which is wrong and run our program, we will get message no correct values. Again. Save changes, run, no correct values. Thank you. Ok, let's continue. This is our constructor. At the beginning we've got if condition and we call check values method to check if everything is ok. Of course we're setting parameters, power and operation. This is our method check values. And here we also got one if condition calling method check operation. This is method check operation. And in if condition we say if op is equal plus or minus, everything is ok, return true, else return false. When we check operation, we also check if power is greater than 1 and less than 11. And if everything is alright, return true or return false. If everything is alright, in this moment our attribute takes the value of parameter power. Operation takes value of operation parameter and we also call create array method. But if there is something wrong, this message is going to be printed. This is our method create array. Here we got one statement. Expression is power. If power is 2, our array will be instantiated in this way. Pay attention as you will see that here we have got second row of Pascal's triangle. And we also call method print polynomial. At the end of each case we must have break command. This is case 3 and setterer and setterer. Ok, this is our method print polynomial and the main job is done here. At the beginning we've got two local variables and these variables help us to print polynomial. At the beginning we print binomial expansion with first member. To print the rest of polynomial we are using for loop. At the beginning i starts with 1 because we have already printed first member. Then we check if operation is equal minus and i is odd number. When i is odd, we must print the even member of polynomial. In that case, 
operation one will take a value of operation. It means that operation one will be minus. Then we check if we reach to the last member. If so, we print only y with power. Else, we print the rest of polynomial. For the next, next cycle, just decrease k. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be all. Let's save changes and run our program to see what will we get. Okay, it says that, that x plus y on 4 power is this. Mm -hmm. And now let's change the values. For example, power will be 8 and operation, sorry, minus. Save changes and again. And here we can see the result. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that will be all for this video. See you in the Kachagani. Mm, sorry, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.